Now creating a palette is quite simple. There's lots of different methods to do it, but I'm gonna give you the method that will give you the specific colors for a design of mine. So we're gonna go ahead and go to our colors here. So tap this icon here, it'll be potentially a different color, such as that. And you'll see a basic palette. Now the first thing we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do is tap on this and use the option of clear. Once you tap on clear, it will get rid of all of it and there's no colors selected. Then what you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do is grab a color file that I've provided. Now typically they'll be in the description of any tutorial and I've got it open here on the left hand side. So I can open it up and I've got the image of the little color files and all of their hex codes. Now depending on what devices you may or may not have, you wanna go ahead and maybe open this as an overlay such as I've got it here on my iPad. You may wanna open the file on your phone potentially, take a look at the codes and type them in one by one. That's exactly what we're gonna do. So we're gonna tap on our color wheel here. We're then gonna go ahead and go up to this setting icon here, and then you'll get the option to add in a hexadecimal code. And that's exactly what these are. It's a six digit code that will give you a specific color. So the first one, we're gonna go ahead and tap in that field and we're gonna tap in FE, FE, FE. That will give us our just off white. And then when you're done, you just wanna hit this plus icon here. This changes to the color of the color you've typed in. You can hit plus, and now you've got that in the palette. You then wanna go ahead and add in the next code. So we'll go ahead and change that code by just going backwards. We want EA33F7. And then you'll see the icons change to the pink. We can hit the plus and then we've got a second color in the palette. So we'll continue to add in the rest of the colors and then you'll have exactly the correct colors for the design that I've created. And again, once you typed it in, just hit the plus and you've got your next color. And then in this example, the final one, is this one here at the bottom. So 27, one, C, four, E. And then when you're done, hit the plus and you've got all four colors that were provided in the image. So I hope you enjoyed that very quick and easy video on how to add in a palette into your Infinite Painter based off of a file that I've provided. If you like the video, drop a like down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.